Hey guys, it's the Wookie Natural back again with another quick video. JL is going to do a quick wash and go. She's starting off with wet hair. She washed her hair yesterday, so she just re-wet it to dampen it for this wash and go because they're getting ready to go out. So what she has done first is put this Cream of Nature Pure Honey Dry Defense Conditioner on her hair. She is not going to wash it out. She's going to leave it in. Don't look at the price, y'all, because it may be different prices, different places. But she's putting on that first. She's going to go work it through her hair. So don't you need some more? Mm, no, this is okay for now. I just need a little bit. Okay, she's doing this to give her hair a little moisture before she puts the S curl down. So what we're going to use today for this wash and go is this S curl. This has been, um, a lot of people, other YouTubers have been using this. Um, this is an old school product. So this is a little trick from back in the day. We didn't use S curl, but we I used um, another activator, so to speak on my hair to make my natural curls pop. So this is not necessarily new, it's being reinvented and um, reimagined coming and coming back. So for the for us old heads that have been natural for years, I've been natural since 2001, we used to use a activator on our hair to make the curls pop, especially when you're doing a wash and go. And so now this has come back, this S curl thing has come back. And so we're going to try this brand on Jay's hair. Now, I'm not into hair typing because it's super hard to hair type. You know, everybody is very subjective. But what I will say that um, as, a, as a natural, my hair had a coil, a tight coil, and it was high porosity. And I wouldn't say it's fine. I would say it's medium size so the strand was medium size as far as diameter of my coil jay's hair is medium diameter as well but her she has more of a curl which is a looser curl not necessarily a wave she brushes it out to get a wave but she has more of a curl so it's not a coil but a curl okay so in today's lingo she might have what i would consider a 3B and 3C hair. She might consider it a 3C, 4A hair. But anyway, she's going to start applying this because she's like, let's hurry up. So um, she's going to go and apply this. Now, typically you want to use it on each section. She's just going to work it through. She's already used her denim brush. And she's denim? Going, no, sorry. Denim. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> Denim? Denim brush? <laughs> no, is it Denim? Denim. Denim brush. Or a Denim brush lookalike. Okay. It's a, it's, a cheap, it's a cheap one. So you see how the curls are even starting to get defined right here. You see she has one kind of thing going on here and at the ends. And then kind of a different thing in the back. So I'm going to help her out here. She's not going to really want me to do it because she's a teenager. But I'm going to help her out work it through and I'm going to work it through slightly differently I'm going to really glop it on too because I believe in using a lot of product so I'm going to let her do the other side and I'm going to continue working on this side yeah I can definitely see that you got some heat damage right here or damage I don't know. You think it's damaged? I it's think it's frizzy right here. Right? Right. Why is that? Because I told you. Why? Because I have damage. Yeah, it's a little damage. We did too much curling of the hair. I mean, straightening the hair, dyeing the hair. So that's what happens when you do too much to the hair at once. So she's doing her side and I'm going to do my side. Of course, she's 
she works with her hair more than I have in the last couple of years. It's been more than a couple. Ouch. Yeah, I stopped doing her hair at 12, you guys. I stopped doing her hair at 12 because I felt like she's going to be a young lady and all young ladies need to know how to do their own hair. Regardless of what she decides to do when she gets grown, if she goes to the hairdresser, whatever else, when she gets grown, that's her business. But she needs to um, go go ahead. Now, of course, you know we're not cosmetologists or hairstylists. So this is something we're trying on her hair to see if it works because a lot of people have been talking about this S-curl. And it makes, this is where knowing your hair texture comes in because when we watched, we watched another YouTuber called Faye in the City do this and it made her curls really pop. So it's not doing that for Jay's hair, but it is giving it some, some definition. It's giving it more definition towards the back where her hair, her hair is a different texture in the back. And then JL is brushing it. I'm going to brush her, her side too. I'm just going to put more product on it first. Okay, I'm going to get her brush now and work it through on my side. See, ooh. On my hair, when my, my hair is natural, I would not work it through. I would just... I would just um, put the product in there and work it in. So sometimes depending on your texture, that may help the situation by brushing it through. Jay's method seems to work because she really brushes it through her hair. Yeah, Jay's side looks definitely better, but she's going to put, I'm going to put this gel in and see what I'm doing here. to say wash and go because this does not seem like a wash and go. She washed her hair and we ain't gone yet. <laughs> so I don't know why they call it a wash and go. I always say this is a style. It makes it seem like it would be a quick and easy style. When I did my wash and go, what I did was wash my hair, put my stuff in my hair, shake my hair, and kept it moving. And then the curls are dry up and be a little frizzy. Okay, so we're trying to follow the directions that uh, that they said to do for this because this S curl is more of a styler. Brush this side. Now, JL, you gonna brush it? Go ahead, make a brush it. I'm just gonna put a little bit like right here, like in between, where it's kind of like. Okay, it's coming together, it's coming together. So you can see the area was a little damaged right here. It It's kind of resistant. So that's how you know you might have a little damage is when you're doing something to your hair and one part of your hair doesn't want to do it. That's how you know, like if the most of your hair is curly and there's one part is straight, then you know that's the indicator of damage or 
one the rest of your hair is kind of it's working with whatever product you're putting on it and it's doing it and then one part doesn't that's how you know that you have some damaged hair going on so let's see jay how does this look I'm just trying to wash my hands. Yeah, we're washing our hands out because this particular product is a little gummy. It's a little tacky. So, um, that's what that is. So, we got to kind of wash it out. So on her, on JL's hair, it it does give it definition, but it gives it a looser curl than I think than if she does just the extreme wet gel, wet line as they say, by itself. And it may be that she put that conditioner in first to give it some more moisture, but it's still pretty curly. And with her hair, it curls up as the time goes on. So. We'll take some other pictures as we go throughout the day, and you can see how it holds up throughout the day. But that's how it looks in the back. Oh, sorry. And this is real time, y'all. So this is how long the wash and go takes. Um, we didn't do shingling and all that, piecing it and working it through each strand. We didn't do all of that. You saw what we did. So this is what it looks like. That. Okay, so there you have it. What you think, Jay? Do you like it? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? It's well, between the okay. It's, so it's a up. little a little closer to the thumbs up though. Okay. So maybe next time Jay will show us her favorite product for doing a wash and go. But this works. This works. Well, the test of time with a wash and go, though, you guys, just for your information, is during the day. How long can you make this thing last, okay? At night, how long does it last? Does it last a day, a two days, three days, four days? How long does the wash and go last? So that's the true test of how well a product is holding up is by how long it lasts, okay? So we'll, this is day one. We'll come back and show you later on in the week okay or later on a couple of days later okay all right until next time stay wookie